On the heels of a weekend that saw eight shootings across Columbus, city leaders say they are optimistic about their new approach to tackling violent crime. NBC4's Jamie Ostroff spoke with Mayor Andrew Ginther and Public Safety Director Robert Clark about why they say the city is headed in a safer direction. Jamie? Well, Jared, they say the answer lies in the data. According to Director Clark, Columbus has seen 56 fewer homicides so far this year compared to this point last year. He also said non-deadly shootings are down nearly 25% as well. Now, in a new program, the city is also using data in order to address violent crime at its source. 0.05% of the city's population is connected to at least 36% of the homicides. The same people responsible for that violence are also at the highest risk for being victimized themselves. Those numbers are the focus of the new Columbus Violence Reduction Program. Public Safety Director Robert Clark says the CVR team works with police to identify the people most likely to commit violence or become a victim. They then reach out to that person in what's called a custom notification. During these interventions, CVR members and law enforcement communicate their holistic anti-violence message and offer support to keep these individuals safe, alive, and free. That support could include anything from faith to sports to mental health resources to school enrollment. Clark says CVR has conducted four custom notifications so far. And I am pleased to report that of the four individuals who have recently received these custom notifications this summer have all accepted follow-up services and linkage with community partners. And none of them, he says, have committed any known acts of violence. It's important for us to understand that this is an ongoing effort and, and an ongoing concept that we're building. And also not just building the concept, but building the partnerships. But while the program is still building, violence is still happening. Columbus saw eight shootings over the weekend. One incident of violence is unacceptable. And so what we saw this weekend, uh, we will not accept. Uh, and we will continue to fight to become the safest big city in America. Ginther and Clark, and as well as other uh, top public safety officials, touted the success of the city's right response program, adding social workers to 911 call centers. Uh, they're able to talk people through crises, freeing up dispatchers, freeing up first responder resources, and perhaps even avoiding a potentially dangerous law enforcement response to some of these calls. Uh, during the past year that this program has been in effect, its director says it has saved first responders about 500 hours. So they are going to be expanding that program in the days, weeks and months ahead. Local for you in Columbus, Jamie Ostroff, NBC4.